Hello everyone and welcome to the 54th episode of the Top 5 Weekly. In this series, each week we look at the most popular workshop creations on Steam. We analyze each one of the submissions, we discover their features and finally test them out here in the world of Stormix. Now, if you're enjoying these videos, comment below and what else you'd like to see in my future videos. While you're there, don't forget that like and subscribe button and click the little bell icon to not find my upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. So all said, let's get straight into it and get start with the first creation of this episode. And starting off with the first creation of the episode, we have the Status E30 M3. This is a creation done by Carnivore. Now, this is the BMW M3. Now, with it, he's got a fully automatic gearbox. Along with that, he's got pretty much realistic interior and also a front hood and rear trunk on it so it looks really cool apparently it's a dream to drive so we're obviously going to spawn this in test it out and see how it's to drive here in the world of stormworks and spawning in the first creation you can see this thing is really small and compact it's got that really cool design i love that uh, looks very realistic it seems like he has also got a whole bunch of paint blocks here in the front with obviously the spotlights um, nice little like intake that goes into the engine there seems like we have the engine underneath hiding there um, nothing much around the sides just a really nice design we also have here at the rear uh, some more paint blocks and seems like the exhaust system and a refueling port on that side now getting into it uh, pretty much just open it up Pretty straightforward we seem to have seems to heater temperature attack speed fuel interior lights headlights and door we have a steer left and right drive and fuel connector release now i know he said that the boot actually opens up uh, oh there it is trunk and hood so let's go and see that so you can see the engine in there bmw that's pretty cool okay so nice there and um, nice little trunk where you can go and store some things nice okay so let's go and close that off let's close the door let's get the interior lights headlights why not uh, and i think we can just drive it's fully automatic yeah oh that is cool. look at that that's awesome and it's actually oops it's gripping quite well it drives quite nice oh that's that's really cool that's a really nice I love the automatic gearbox he has on these creations. It just, oh, it's just such a dream to drive. Like, you can really get it to exactly where you want to. Like, I want to drive it there and I want to stop it. I can stop it if I want to drive there. It's very controllable, really smooth. I don't know how it's going to do off road, to be honest. I'm sure it will be fine. Um, but yeah, what an awesome little creation. Definitely a nice one. It's so nice and a little compact, also. Yeah, really, really nice one here. Um, great one to start this episode off with. Let's go and let's move on to the next one of this episode. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Greenwich Estate. This is a creation done by Brit Spaz Matisha Zilla. Um, apparently, this is an experiment. He says, be sure to edit the XML of the workbench before spawning us in. It's too large uh, to spawn in. I think with that, you can also spawn in with a mission. Now, this looks really cool. It's obviously steampunk design. Uh, so really, really nice. Something we haven't really seen here in Stormworks. So let's go and spawn this in and see how it's like and how it drives around. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this thing looks incredible. Half the things that I don't even know how he's done with the blocks that we have here in Stormworks. Uh, oh my word, this is really cool. I love this design. Uh, very steampunky. I love these huge wheels that he's got. I'm not too sure how he's managed to go and do that. Um, but it seems like he's got the tracks going around there. We have tons of paint blocks, a lot of attention to detail. Seems like some doors for the actual house here on the side. We have the wheels here at the back another door at the back there oh man this looks gorgeous so let's go up and let's see what's going on um so we seem to have a door here which just goes into a room yeah and just comes straight out if i don't fall down okay let's go back up and let's get there let's close these doors okay uh, close that i'm guessing we have the same on this side yep so another little door slash house in there uh, let's go towards the rear so just like some walkways and things to get around it we can go down and down and down and down eventually we get down into this room which i don't think is anything and seems like another just a 
room down here to be honest these doors don't seem to work just yet i guess they need some electricity which we'll probably need to get on in a few minutes uh, let's go into the next room okay nothing in there and let's go and see if we can get up to the next room and this seems like a little cottage in here okay nothing in there either but more of the exterior that he's gone and done which looks absolutely incredible now getting into here okay so this looks to be the driving room so we have a clutch throttle we have reverse gear lights let's get the lights on let's see just the okay front and rear lights okay we have engine starter reverse let's get engine starter on pull up yeah i'm guessing oh we need fuel pumps don't know if anything's on it's all zero there I can hear something yeah you can hear the engines turning i don't even know where he's got the engines i'm guessing down there somewhere uh, okay and clutch we can just get going here yep just like that oh my that looks awesome it's bouncing around over the place a little bit oh it's just got damage too yeah i've got vehicle damage on so maybe you need vehicle damage off uh guys it does seem like it's hitting something and getting damaged by something but nonetheless this is awesome i don't know how he's turning i'm guessing he's using the wheels to turn them and obviously at the back there you have the steering oh, that is awesome despite the fact that it's getting damaged as you go on very unique very different very cool definitely a nice one for the second creation of this episode let's go and move on to the next one and moving on to the next creation of the episode we have the bc 108 light utility helicopter this is a creation done by napoleon now this helicopter itself is a lightweight six-seater helicopter apparently it's inspired by the leonardo helicopters uh it looks really cool apparently you can fit inside some ships and uh even trucks and so on and so forth it's got a couple of cool features two pilot seats auto hover auto cruise uh, altitude hold a gps map proximity warping war, uh, warning system and there's distress beacon also so it looks really cool nice and compact so let's go and spawn this in and see how it flies here in the world of stormworks and spawning in the next creation you can see this thing's tiny it really is it's only a couple blocks wide um and it looks really nice it's it's a nice little small profile it's got that helicopter shape to it which is great now going around here at the front it seems like we have some landing gear and things uh we have the cockpits we also have a I'm guessing a sliding door but you need some power to open that up uh we seem to have a service hatch here at the back with our fuel engine temperature and the fluid connector nice has gone and included that with such a small little body and uh, not much else going around the sides here just lovely oh, just looks really good uh let's go and get inside here so just opening up the cockpit here getting into the so this is co-pilot and so i guess that's pilot okay let's close that door so there's a bunch of controls let's just have a look at the back and see what's inside here it just seems like just a heater some passenger seats and things obviously with passenger seats you can now all these padded seats sorry you can obviously go and have much more rooms in your creation and still have the capability of carrying people around but these sliding doors seem to be not powered that's why they're flopping around a bit uh let's actually just go into the pilot seat and let's get some some power on some master power there we go and i'm guessing now those sliding doors should open yep there we go they open nice okay what else do we have so we have ws to collective okay so you can switch ignition we have a little microphone ws your switch pilot throttle switch pilot again interior lights heater landing lights backlights connector release distress beacon okay altitude hold works if auto controls for once okay uh, we have low battery, low RPS, fuel, engine RPS, vertical speed, okay, landing gears, etc. Little map. Perfect, nice. And mute, I'm guessing mute is turning the radio off, I'm guessing. Okay, let's get this on. Uh, ignition. Just like that. Round 10, air 15, okay. Get air up. Okay, and we should just be going. Look at that awesome just like that nice little helicopter you can fly around that is really nice it's pretty looks like it's pretty stable i don't think he's using an autopilot if i'm correct because it 
or an auto hover, sorry, should I rather say. But even though it's super controllable and easy, obviously until you need to land it. Okay, so let's just see if I can land it here. Hold on. Uh, oh, there, auto hover is one. Okay, so you can turn it on. I had it off. Okay, so you can turn that on where it then becomes really stable. That is really nice. I like that helicopter. It's a nice, small, little compact one. Let's try the altitude hold. Hold on. Um, I'm just going to do 50. Why not? And okay, it just turns on. I like the, the this little cockpit is really good also with the panel. I like how it's tilted a little bit. Yeah, nice little creation. Really pretty cool. Can we get the landing gear to... Okay, it's landing gear is three. Yep, landing gear just folds away. Really nice. Oh, that's cool. Let's go and move on to the next one. And moving on to the next creation of the episode, we have the Runnymede class landing ship, the LCU 2000 class. Now, this is a creation done by uh, Ampulin Pool. I could be pronouncing that wrong. I do apologize if I am. Now, apparently, these designs off the real ship uh, apparently means me 100% realistic. Uh, it doesn't have much on terms of the workshop in what he has there, uh, but it looks really cool. It's quite nice and big and scaled. So let's go, let's spawn this in and see how it looks and drives here in the world of Stormux. And spawning in the next creation, you can see this thing is quite big. Um, really looking pretty cool. He's got some rigging here up on the mast. Seems like we've got some fire hoses, some connectors here at the back, a big anchor. Along with that is, seems like this is the main deck where you would park your vehicles. And seems like there's a whole bunch of connectors for tie downs and things. We seem to have electricity and fuel on either side for refueling and things. Let's go up to the front and then we'll work our way back. So coming up onto the aisle deck over here. Seems like we don't have much, just some, once again, some ropes and things. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. I like how he's gone and done that to imitate some kind of like um, hoisting system there, which is pretty cool. We seem to have a, just like a gantry up there that you can walk across. Very nice. Uh, fire hose, does this actually open? No, it doesn't look like that opens. Okay, uh, we have a light switch, another push button to go inside, guessing this is like the anchor room of some sort. Okay, let's go and close that. Moving along, I'm guessing we have exactly the same on the other side. Yep, okay. Um, more tie downs on the deck there. Let's carry on going along. We seem to have, I'm guessing this is for refueling. Oh no, it's connectors, um, but what type of connectors? Electricity connectors, yep, all electricity connectors, whereas these are just regular tie-down cables. Fire hose, unfortunately it doesn't have anything in it. Uh, we seem to have, I don't know if that's meant to go somewhere. Uh, let's go into the interior, so... It seems like we have just the walkway going around. In here we have like a crew area. Okay on off with this little rope that's quite nice uh going along some storage some heaters okay some equipment areas some seats way to go up we'll go to there just now do not turn i don't know what that does okay we'll do that later uh, i'm worried uh it seems like we have an engine room. oh that's pretty cool i like the little cables and the crane there seems like we have a key switch with all the batteries and things unlocked, RPSs, engine stuff. Okay, nice little room, really cool. Let's go up, let's go into the next deck up. I just don't know what that room does. I guess we'll come back to it just now. So going up to the next level, seems like we have a, where does this go? So like a medical room in there. And on the other side, have, seems like there's a cabin, another cabin, and cabin and guessing cabin yep so cabins all around seems like we have a way to get out into the rear deck here and also to go up okay we don't need to go up close these doors as we move along okay let's go up to the next deck and yep so we have the bridge up here with a whole bunch of controls and things so first off we seem to have anchors system okay uh we have obviously a way of getting out onto the ship so let's just get out like the automatic lights, I'm guessing automatic lights. Seems like we have a little rib here at the back, which we can go and throw off, which is quite nice. Um, so this is searchlights and water hosels. 
Okay, so okay, so you got some water lights and water nozzles and some searchlights at the top, which are controlled by those. Okay, nice. Let's go and get back in. So we have a passenger seat with some screens and things. Let's just see what you have. Okay, master key on. Engine start. Okay, so engines are on. So, okay, so we have a map screen and looks like a sonar, radar of some sort. Uh, we have some cameras, deck lights, nav lights, masthead lights, masthead lights, bow, stern. Okay. We then have the helm here with engine throttle, forward reverse, engine throttle up, get forward up. Okay, clutch is engaged and we're now going. So the map screen, map screen there, that screen here. No, um, okay. We don't know where the controls were for the front here to drop the... Okay, ramp up, ramp down. Okay, autopilot. Okay, so it has an autopilot system too. How easy is it to turn? Seems pretty easy. I'm going to try and turn around here and let's try and drop the... Ooh. Okay, let's try and drop the front, the ramp. Let's see how that works. Pretty stable. Really quite nice. And you can see the whole front section is lifted up there. That's because of once you load cargo on, it's going to obviously drop. That's pretty cool. Nice little attention to detail. Let's go and just bring it in here. Really like the silhouette of it. It looks really good. The hull looks like it's done really well. Uh, and he's gone and used this, the new wedge blocks here in the front, which makes it look even more incredible. Uh, underneath, yeah, pretty straightforward. Okay, let's just bring it in here. Okay, and I'm going to start dropping the throttle. Okay, maybe we need some more throttle. Okay, let's drop throttle now. Should be just about there. A little more. Yeah, it seems like we're slowly getting in. A little bit more. Okay. And we should be able to now put the bow ramp down. And let's have a look at that. Yep, just like that. Bow ramp's going down. Horn works. How far does it go down? Yeah, oops, ooh, a little bit too far down. Get it up a little bit. Yeah, that looks awesome. You can just drive your creations up onto it. Really nice. I like that. Let's go and uh, let's go check out that, that room that was apparently do not do whatever it was. Um, so it says, do not turn on, do not push. Oh, what the? <laughs> oh my word. Um, I can't see. Flares. So he's put a flare trap in there of some sort. Wow. I can't see. Sorry for anyone that's watching. Oh man. That is very bright. I'd love to see what's actually in that room, but I can't see anything. And we're gonna have to wait for these flares to die off. To get outside. Oh my word, he's just like lit up this whole area. Oh man. Come on, flares, die off. I don't know how many flares he put in there. <laughs> oh, I still can't see inside. There's the equipment. And I don't even know where this room was. Oh man, it's too bright in here. Oh, okay, oh, I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to actually investigate what was in there. I'm just guessing it was just flares. But oh my word, that was very bright and a little bit of a surprise at the same time um but really cool let's go and let's move on to the next one and the last one of the episode and moving on to the next creation and the last creation of the episode is the saga mark ii this is a creation done by Ray Trinet. Now, we haven't seen much from him uh, recently as far as I'm aware. This sub looks absolutely amazing. Now, apparently, as you said, the La Saga, it's uh, developed in France, uh, which is pretty cool. It's meant to be a 20 me 28 meter long, 550 ton submerged displaceable, six crew members in there. Uh, apparently, the compartment to dive for divers, about four to six divers in there. Uh, really quite cool. 
So he's got his original, which he's done a comparison to on the workshop. Got a couple cool features, 10 knot top speed, high movability, two main rotating thrusters, six auxiliary propellers, and yeah, just a whole bunch of different things in there. So it looks really cool, very, very detailed uh, on the workshop here with everything he has. So let's go ahead, let's spawn this and, and see how it works here in the world of Stormworks. And spawning in the Saga, you can see this thing looks incredible with the new wedges and with the amount of paint blocks he's got on here. Uh, so many paint blocks everywhere. You've got the Saga name on the side, Saga name at the top there. Looks incredible. Seems like we have a whole bunch of key switches there. I'm not sure what those do. Let's go and jump on their uh, hatch. These are individual hatches. I don't know what's inside them, to be honest. Okay, so it doesn't look like just like some looks like just some logic and things inside here. Okay, so let's go and get those closed off. Okay, and that looks cool. Okay, uh, what else? What's that button there? So we have an engine room hatch and a deck light. Okay, let's go and get the engine room hatch. Okay, and literally goes into the engine room. Oh wow! Okay, this is amazing amount of detail in here, guys. Um, wow. Okay. Wow. Um, I don't even know where to start to full ballast tanks and things, battery, we have magnets, we have a key switch, I'm guessing open to the door, okay, so what do we have in here, so pump water inside, full SAS, outside bar, lights, key button, does this open up, okay, so these must be the dive chambers, okay, so this is, I'll oh, try and see if I can get up here, yeah, so this must be a diving chamber. Oh, that is hyper bar zone. Okay, so it looks like some beds and things. Wow, attention to detail on this is huge. Uh, hatch, diving. Okay, so we're not going to do diving just yet. Let's go and close that. Okay, so I'm guessing these controls for that room. Let's go back into the engine room. Let's close the engine room up. We have toggle buttons. Don't know what those do lights lights okay engine one engine two I have a door which i can't get through um i've got detail underneath here that's pretty cool uh i can't get through that door just yet so what we're going to do is let's go back up the engine room hatch and we'll move our way around Oops. all out in okay let's close that door uh moving along so we have a Ogador. Huh. Some kind of... I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Nice little cargo area. Okay, can I close that? Cargo. Okay, we seem to have some small areas here. Maggles. We have some more hatches. Everything's in them. All of the same. It looks like a pump and... That one at the same time. Some more logic and things. Let's close that hatch. Let's move around. Okay, I still know what that is. Looks like a diving bell of some sort. I don't know how to get in there. Oh, there we go. Hold on. Front door. Cool. Okay, so it does look like a diving bell of some sort. And the hatch here at the top too. We have a front door. Oh, that door is closing. And we have a pod. Okay, so this is the pod. Get out the pod here. Get in the pod at least. Might be easier just getting into that seat to be honest. There we go. Okay, so this is the little pod. Ooh. Guessing. Okay, so if you're down depth, you can just get in the pod emergency hatch. That's nice. Oh wow. Okay, so we seem to have the door to get into the entrance where we were a couple minutes ago. We have so many screens and things alarm hey i'm a key okay um so many things going on depth auto depth launch flare system toggle monitor doesn't do anything just yet uh wow i don't even know where to start autopilot ignition work weather station mount ballast tamps push buttons engine throttle autopilot on sonar snorkel okay where is so there's alarm hey i'm a key get the main circuit breaker on and see if that does anything 
Uh, Hatch, we have auxiliary engine breaker, spotlight position car, corridor lights. Nice. Looks like some bunk beds going along. Lights. Seem to do anything. Curtain for the toilets. Little kitchen area. Nice. What's in here? Another door. What is in here? Microscope, microscope. So it's like a research area in there. Cool. Um, now let's have the fun of trying to figure out how to get this thing to work. Um, we don't need a light. Power's on. Toggles. We so pump right to left, pump left to right. Okay. No magnet. No fill with water. Drain fill with water. Doesn't seem like it does anything with water okay it doesn't seem like we need to do anything in there let's get this door closed push button no depth no alarms no channel transmit no let's get in the pilot seat weather station microsoft no no there are power button anyway dashboard breaker there we go monitors on switch cameras nice okay uh, we can get the periscope monitor, back camera, ballast, ballast pump clear, okay, weather station, there, map, there, ballast pump fill, okay, push buttons, engine throttle, I don't know if we even started the thing up, but it looks like we're going, yeah, we are too, look at that, that's nice, I love the design once again with this hull. Looks gorgeous. I think we are filling. Uh, we need to fill the ballast. Okay. So then we should start sinking now. And I think we can do the depth. Okay, so outside pressure, ignition. Oh, there's some engines there. Okay, so that's why we're obviously up at the air. Uh, we can run that. Okay, RPS is off. I'm guessing you can't run the engines while we're down below legs okay that too. okay so legs to hook yourself into place oh can we do the depth hold so what's our current depth current depth 1.2 let's put it as current depth as five and let's put all the depth on and we have a depth gauge here so apparently we're in negative five already if that's going to change all the depth systems should be sonar mode sonar off okay depth we're still going down although current depth okay i'm guessing we're going to go oh, okay maybe i need to put a negative hold on negative five. Ooh, we just hit something that was the bottom of the seabed lovely okay we should be getting to an auto depth now Come on, climb. I think I might have damaged a few things. It looks a little damaged. It looks drivable. Come yeah, on. Up you go. Hmm. I might have damaged it just a little bit. Okay, let's get the ballast off. Should start rising now. We damaged a bit of it um there at the rear and at the front it looks like okay come on one ballast the ballast is emptying so we should be getting our our height now back sound on modes autopilot on speaker so many Periscope up. How up can we get it? Okay, so quite high. Not too high. Depth, we still. Ballast is emptying. Not the quickest. I think I might have damaged, damaged the ballast, to be honest. But is there any lights? I didn't see any lights anywhere. Um, launch flare. Okay, so I guess you just launch the flares to see. Oh, hello, that's. Right. Okay. 
Position lights, control room, spotlights. Yep, okay, so that's what I was looking for. Ooh. Okay, I kind of broke it, which is a bad thing. Um, let's imagine we we did that. Let's try and use this emergency skate pod and see if that works. In theory, that's what that's going to happen is you're going to damage yourself and you're going to need to actually go and get yourself out of here if my screen wasn't locked. Okay, uh, let's go and close that. I know that close that hatch. Uh, can we close this hatch? Let's just press the emergency skate pod. That closes. We should be going out now. Oop. Where are we? <laughs> Look at that. There we are. Nice. So the emergency escape pod does work. That's cool. That's a really cool little one. Nice creation. So much detail has gone into this one. It's absolutely incredible. Obviously, don't be silly like me. Don't go and crash into the ocean bed as you start. Otherwise, turn damage off might be a good one, but absolutely incredible creation. Obviously, you can go and await your rescue now uh, while you're out there. It would be nice to maybe have a little flare in here so you can go send the flare up. Um, but yeah, absolutely gorgeous one to end this episode off with. So I think we'll go ahead and end today's video over there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it something entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you in the next one.